Hi there, I'm Guitar Hero 1885 and in this video we're going to take a look at Diddy Kong Racing for N64. This is a game very much in the style of Mario Kart, um, but we've got a whole host of new characters uh, and a whole, ho a whole, co uh, a whole, um, a whole host of uh, different locations and different vehicles. Um, yeah, so. We're just going to get this up and running. Well, apparently my uh, Rumble Pack memory card thing is working this time. So, uh, yeah. Looks like I'm going to start on from my save game. Uh, usually doesn't work. But yeah, this is this is a lovely game. Uh, I borrowed uh, my friend's N64 uh, and he had a copy of uh, Diddy Kong Racing. And it was excellent. Uh, I really, I fell in love with the game, um, and I, I, I think I completed it. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think I 100%ed it. I didn't get all the balloons, but I, I you know, I, I did get fairly far in it, and uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's quite a challenging wee game. Uh, cause you've got you've got a lot of different. Um, You've got a lot of different vehicles to choose from, uh, and a lot of different colourful characters to choose from. Uh, very much the control system is the same as Mario Kart. Um, and yeah, it's nice and colourful, good graphics, um, great gameplay. Um, and yeah, I, I really like this game. Uh, see, it's, it's basically Mario with some different... Eh, sorry, Mario Kart. Uh, with some different characters uh, and some different vehicles uh, and a few different power-ups uh, and a whole host of different racetracks. Um, challenging little game. Uh, it, it has a lot of levels um, and it's got a lot of longevity. Um, you could sit and play this for hours or uh, and then go back to it uh, later. Um, also, uh, you could just, it, it's a pick up and play type game as well, you could pick it up and play it for half an hour uh, and then stick it off again and, and just go back to it another time. Uh, it really, you know, you can play it for however long you want and it, it, it's still fun uh, and the controls are so ingrained in any sort of retro gamer or any gamers who are around uh, for Mario Kart uh, or any of its inceptions, um, then you know, you, the controls are just there, you know, it's, it's not difficult, it's not complicated uh, to just to, to get back into uh, if you haven't played it for a while. <clears throat> nice and enjoyable game. Um, graphics are good, nice retro cartoony graphics, good colours. Um, it's a little bit slow, um, a tiny bit slow perhaps. Um, but there's plenty going on in it. Um, the levels are varied um, quite greatly. You've got land, sea, and air. Uh, you can go. Um, you can do the level. Well, there are levels for cars. Uh, there are levels for hovercraft, uh, which are water-based, um, water-based levels, and also, and some of those are really nice. Uh, there are also aeroplane levels. Um, obviously air-based, um, those are quite challenging uh, and they are varied as well. Um, there's also uh, some sort of uh, like mini-games uh, levels that you have to complete, uh, it's like competitions uh, with with some of the other, uh, well with the CPU or your friends. It is a multiplayer game, but I should have mentioned that. Um, the one I, the mini game type level that I played, which was like a sort of face off thing, uh, was where uh, you had to beat uh, every single other uh, competitor uh, time wise uh, for collecting dinosaur eggs and taking them back to your nest. Uh, so I, I didn't come. I, I don't know if it's a special stage or not, but I, I didn't. Uh, I've never come across that um, before. But uh, yeah, the object of the game ultimately is to collect balloons, uh, which allow you access 
uh, allow you access to the different areas um, and also allow you access to the different levels. Um, you require a set number of balloons to progress in the game uh, or to ac you know access any uh, some of the other areas, uh, some of the new levels. Yeah, excellent. When I played it, I thought at the time I thought it was brilliant. Still think it's brilliant. Uh, went through when I first got my N64. Uh, I got I got a pile of games quite cheaply, but I went on. E I had to get this game as soon as I. One of the re main reasons uh, I got an N64 was knowing that I could get hold of this game because uh, it left an impression, a good one. Uh, so yeah, I give this game five stars. Um, it's cracking. It's colourful. It's fun. Um, it's got longevity and it's it's got variety as well uh, and it's just really nice just a really nice game so i'm guitar hero 1885 i thank you for watching this video uh, please uh, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it uh, please check my channel i've got more retro game reviews uh, current generation console game reviews and also uh, electric guitar lessons um, and all different sorts of uh, entertainment, uh, entertaining videos that I can make on subjects that I find interesting. Um, there's also tons of just different video game reviews uh, up there uh, on my channel, so please subscribe and enjoy. Uh, thank you very much for for watching. Have a good one and peace out.